Guys, welcome to 2022 for my first action figure review of the year. I wanted to start out with a Transformers figure, and today we're going to be looking at the Transformers Generations Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy's core class Soundwave. Try and get your Transformers, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. All right, down there, I ask you to please hit that like button, and if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. It's a New Year's resolution of mine to talk about Transformers a little bit more on this channel throughout 2022. We'll see how I do. Anyway, I am very excited for this because I have the other three core class figures of Optimus Prime, Megatron, and Starscream. So I really wanted this Soundwave, found it at Target, and glad I was able to score this figure. It says core class right there in multiple languages. And then on the back, you can see both modes right over there. And then not much more on the side, top or bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> So here's Soundwave out of the packaging. Get yeah, a cute little guy, right? That's a nice looking little figure. Uh, just to measure out this alt mode, you can see it's only about two and a half inches across, inch and a half high right there. So very small little figure, but it looks really good. My biggest gripe being that there's nothing for the toes to fold into. You know, it'd be nice to fold these in. I don't like how these are sticking up over here because, you know, I like it when Soundwave is a nice little box, you know? So a nice paint apps right here with the silver. You get a nice Decepticon symbol right there. I like how the gold trim looks consistent going across so that doesn't look too bad not much on the sides well a little bit of the sculpted you know paneling i guess for control knobs or whatever or faux control knobs and you can see the batteries on the back of it right over there it looks a little sloppy on the bottom and on the top but yeah i, I do think it looks pretty good uh, when you well this button doesn't work obviously but you can open it up right here and you get a faux laser beak looking pretty cool i like that paint detail and then you can see how it's even like, you know, pretend folded up right here, but nope, doesn't actually transform or anything. And you can see we have more detail sculpted on the inside right over there. Maybe a better look at that Decepticon symbol because it does look very clean. As tiny as it is, I really do like it. So yeah, let's get on to transforming this thing. It's actually quite easy to do. No surprises or anything like that. It's a Soundwave figure, so we take away Bumblebee. All right, da -da. I'm going to take the batteries off first, so go ahead and remove each of these, and then I'll go ahead and start with the legs, detach here, and then you're going to trim these around, flip the feet, and then trim this around, and then flip that foot right there, swing the arms out, and then you go ahead and pick the little notch right there, so you could take the head out, and then you can see the hands right over here and you pretty much have Soundwave. Now this gun right here, as cool as it is, it is fitting very loose in his hands. And then this one right here looks pretty, or the shoulder cannon anyway. Just wanna make sure that you push this in all the way. Cause at first I was like, oh crap, it doesn't go down all the way. That's really frustrating. So you just push in all the way. And then now you have Soundwave and he looks cool. I really like these little mini figures. They really just nail the likeness. Really good sculpt and paint apps right over here. So I like the red. I like it when they give Soundwave red eyes. I know the original toy had yellow eyes, but I like the red eyed Soundwave. It looks good to me. Then that shoulder cannon right there has those nice, tiny, tiny little dots. I mean, look at my fingernail. It looks like a giant next to this thing. It's freaking awesome. And the shoulder right over here. Uh, I love these little details man so looks like the Hasbro factory is just getting better and better at the little minute details as far as the paint apps go so I'm really digging that quite a bit and getting further back you can see how this blaster looks right here I want to rotate this but no you can't rotate it so nice red paint right there the legs look really good I like how everything's broken up you know you can see some more of that gold coming around right there and we already saw these feet <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I forgot to compare this to the other core class figures that I have, but I did take some pictures. So you could see Soundwave next to Megatron and Starscream over here. So they all kind of fit together and I even had Soundwave riding Megatron, which is kind of fun. But anyway, to go over the articulation on this little guy, you can see the head turned side to side. It'll look up due to the transformation, will not look down. You do have some shoulder butterfly joint action going backwards over here. You can move the shoulders outward, inward, rotate a full 360, single jointed elbow, rotates at the elbow, no rotation at the hands, no waist rotation, which is a bummer. This flap moves up due to transformation. Hips move all the way out. And then with that flap moving forward, you can kick all the way 
forward, kick all the way back, thigh cut right there, single jointed knee, then the ankle is on a ball joint, so it'll turn side to side, it'll move down and up a tiny bit, and it barely has any clearance for ankle pivot, which is frustrating. I wish there was, you know, a drop down thing or something like that. It's ankle pivot. You gotta give it ankle pivot. So to measure out this tiny little sound wave figure, you can see that it is standing at about three and a half inches tall. Then here's sound wave amongst all my other core class figures. We have the Optimus Prime, Megatron, and Starscream. And if you're wondering why did I buy these, I initially bought the Optimus Prime first off because I thought Lord Emmetron would really dig it and she did not, but I did. So I went and picked up the Megatron and Starscream afterwards, and I'm happy to have Soundwave in the collection too. And then for a Soundwave comparison, here we have our Core Class Soundwave, and next to our G1 Soundwave. And yeah, they did a really good job over here, right? Yeah, for such a tiny figure, it looks pretty good next to the G1. And then here's Soundwave, next to your average 6-inch scale figure, we have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Oh hey little guy, you're very <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. I will have more Marvel stuff coming. And a big thanks to all these people that support this content on Patreon and on membership. If you're in a position to do so and you want to support and you want the perks, check it out. Links below. This figure is a lot of fun. I do like these little core figures. Uh, I, it's something that I didn't think I was going to be into, but I actually like them. I've been playing around with them a whole bunch, and I think they're very cool, and they're neat, and they're not that expensive, and uh, you can carry them around in your pocket if you want to, and they transform fairly easily, but not stupid simple. Uh, some some of the other ones are a bit more complex, like, for instance, the Starscream and Megatron. Those are both definitely a bit more complex figures, so the Soundwave definitely has the simplest transformation, but uh, it's not losing points for me. I mean, the gun is, gets loose in the hand and some of the ball joints stand out, you know what I mean? But aside from that, I think this is pretty awesome and I really like the paint detail and everything. So dope little figure. I'm not going to be, you know, reviewing Transformers on the daily on the channel for 2022, but I want to post a little bit more Transformer reviews throughout the year. We'll see how I do. Anyway, once again, I do like this figure and at the price point of around 11, 12 bucks, something like that, I'm going to give this core class Soundwave a sud rating of... <laughs> Bad. And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see the latest in Transformers news, you can find it all over at tformers.com. And if you want to follow me on social media, you can find me over on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! <laughs>